What's going on guys, Firewolf Tech here showing you guys the Samsung Odyssey OLED G9 gaming monitor. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all around this beautiful 49 inch super ultra wide monitor so let's get it. It features a massive 49 inch curved OLED panel with quantum dot technology, an 1800R curvature, 0.03 millisecond response time and a crazy fast 240Hz refresh rate for the ultimate immersive gaming machine. This display comes with a resolution of 5120 by 1440, which is the equivalent of combining two 1440p monitors side by side. The G9 OLED delivers incredible blacks and brighter whites thanks to the Neo Quantum Processor Pro. Having a super ultra wide monitor is great, but would this monitor have been better with a higher vertical resolution? Before I answer that, let's first dive right into the unboxing experience of the Samsung Odyssey OLED G9. I appreciate how well packaged this monitor was. It was very easy to take out. Taking off the plastic here reveals the back of the G9 OLED and surprisingly, it's very light and thin. At just 20 pounds without the stand, this was surprisingly very light, so I'm happy about that. And then here we have the beautiful 1800R curvature. Absolutely beautiful and it feels really nice and premium. You can feel the metal on the back of the monitor is absolutely beautiful. Inside the box, we're gonna have the actual base here. This is gonna be the bottom portion of it. I love the silver color scheme. And it does come with wingtip screws, which I like a lot. And then here's the actual stand that mounts to the actual base. And again, I am liking the very subtle but beautiful look of this stand. And then we're gonna have the Visa mount adapter here. Now this is what I'm gonna personally be using to mount the G9 OLED on a desk arm. So I'll show you guys how to do that. Then inside the back, we're gonna have a couple of goodies here. Good news is that we get a full-size display port 1.4 cable, a USB-C to USB-A, and then a micro HDMI to full-size HDMI, which is really nice. And then we have the US plug that's gonna basically connect to this really massive power brick. Now this thing is very hefty and big. Good news is that it allows the monitor itself to be as slim and portable as possible. And last, we have the smart remote coated in a really nice white color. And I'm happy to report that this remote features USB-C connectivity, which means there are no external batteries that you need to use, and it can be charged with a USB-C cable, so I love that a lot. And I love having a remote for ease of access. Taking a look at the inputs of the G9 OLED, we're gonna see a nice DisplayPort 1.4. We're also gonna get an HDMI 2.1 and a second HDMI, but this one's gonna be a micro HDMI 2.1, which they also supply the cable, which is really nice. And then on the left side, we're gonna have a USB hub. So it's gonna be two USB-C downstreams and one upstream. And then we're gonna have a power button on the left side as well. Now, Samsung makes it very easy and convenient to install the stand. All we have to do is first angle it on the middle of the monitor. And then once we have that in place, we just take the base, line that up. And because it has wingtip screws, we don't even need to have screwdrivers, which makes installing this very easy and simple. And once we have it screwed into place, it's now ready to see the back of this. And I gotta say guys, it looks absolutely fire. They did a great job with the design language of this G9 OLED. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. Let me know what you guys think of the back of this. All right, now that we have the front, let's go ahead and remove the screen protector, revealing this beautiful 49 inch OLED display. Absolutely beautiful, and I'm in love with this monitor stand. I think they did a really good job with how it looks. I do like the height adjustability as well. Now, you're not going to see any pivot or swivel, but that's to be expected since this is a very wide monitor. And I think it looks really nice on my setup here. I almost even considered keeping it this way as well. And it does have really good tilt angles as well. I mean, let me know what you guys think of this monitor stand, but for me personally, I'm going to go and mount it on a desk arm and we're gonna see how that looks. But first things first, we're gonna first grab the Visa mount adapter here. We're gonna screw them in in place and then we're gonna grab our Visa mount plate here and then we're just gonna use four screws to mount it in. And the monitor arm that I'm using here is the AVLT 13 inch to 43 inch monitor arm. And even though it's rated for 43 inches, it really goes by the weight, which handles up to 33 pounds. And being that this is only 20 pounds, it works absolutely beautiful. So there's no need to spend extra money on a very heavy duty monitor arm. Now let's power this on with the remote. Setup process is very similar to a smart TV, which I personally don't like and will decline a smart hub feature since I won't be using that at all. 
Now that we have it connected to my gaming PC, I am absolutely blown away by this massive OLED display. The blacks are super deep and the actual display is surprisingly bright thanks to Samsung adding in quantum dots. They have LG beat when it comes to OLEDs in a monitor which normally suffers from low brightness. Having three windows open side by side and still feel very roomy makes this super ultra wide display impressive. Even when you full screen a video, the black borders blend in seamlessly thanks to OLED technology. Since this is a gaming monitor first, I'm going to test three different games, Forza, Modern Warfare, and Diablo 4. I'm running Forza Horizon 5 with the highest settings, averaging about 190 frames per second with the RTX 4090 graphics card, and it looks amazing. I would be able to get more frames by dropping a couple of settings, but I would rather enjoy the high fidelity on this OLED display. This game runs beautifully under a 32 by 9 aspect ratio, and the HDR settings make every detail vibrant and bright. It truly is immersive, and when you switch the camera angles to cockpit view, you get a nice, lifelike experience inside any of Forza's beautiful car roster. Any simulation game will look incredible. The built-in speakers sound pretty good, and overall the Forza experience on the G9 OLED was fun. Now let's jump right into Modern Warfare for some shooter action. The Samsung G9 OLED has an incredible response time of 0.03 milliseconds and a refresh rate of 240, which makes intense gameplay run buttery smooth. I always prefer high fidelity and even though I haven't touched 240 frames per second, the constant 170 through 200 frames is more than enough for me to enjoy smooth gaming and a gorgeous display. The colors look vibrant and I am so impressed with the gaming performance with all that extra widescreen space. I haven't noticed any issues even with all the chaos on a small shipment map. The hood layout wasn't an issue and didn't feel like I needed to turn my head. This might be due to the fact that my desk is 30 inches deep, which helps a lot. It's important to note that not all games support a super ultra wide 32 by 9 aspect ratio. As you can see, Diablo 4 currently doesn't support 32 by 9. But since it does support standard ultra wide, it'll leave two small black borders on each side. Now thanks to OLED, the pixels are completely shut off, making the borders a true deep black. Had this been an IPS panel, you would have seen some type of lighting which would have looked terrible. I honestly didn't mind the black borders and Diablo looked amazing on his monitor. Hopefully they add 32 by 9 support in a future update. Time to recharge. One of the most important things for me for a monitor is how well it boosts my productivity and workflow. The 49 inch G9 OLED has impressive widescreen real estate, but I can't help but feel like extra vertical screen space would have been great for productivity. Aside from that, using a video editor took some time to get used to such a wide screen. The 5120 by 1440 resolution puts the pixel per inch density to about 108 pixels per inch which isn't retina quality and I found myself having to zoom in a lot. I later scaled the display to 125% and have enjoyed a better experience. A cool feature of the G9 OLED is the RGB core lighting on the back which offers a whole bunch of customization options and colors. Changing these settings are even easier using the smart remote. One of the biggest concerns about OLED is burn in, but Samsung has a built in pixel shifter that would kick in from time to time to help prevent that. And besides, OLED has been around for a very long time now. The Odyssey G9 OLED retails for $2,200, which is very expensive, but when you're in this price range, you're looking for the ultimate gaming display, and this does not disappoint. Gaming has been really breathtaking, and I highly recommend this monitor for gaming. Now, when it comes to productivity and work, it's hard for me to recommend because I personally would have preferred a higher resolution for better text clarity and more vertical space. Don't get me wrong though, having a super ultra wide with multiple windows is great and if you're currently using two 1440p monitors side by side, then this would be a perfect replacement. All in all guys, Samsung did an amazing job with creating the world's first 49 inch OLED monitor and their quantum dot technology really elevates this monitor. I would have no problem recommending this monitor for incredible immersive gaming. 
If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching, guys.